Life is a game, ay, ay, we're all born to play. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode, yas, of Starbound. Anyway, um, I was working a little bit off camera and was going through some things, and I got a collection of items that we are going to need because I would like to upgrade some of these workbenches as well as craft. Let me see here. I would like to craft the... Mm, where is it? The wiring station. I think this is quite important. So I'm going to go ahead and make that really quick. And let's put that down. And let's put it. Excuse me. Let's put that right here. Let's see. Ooh. We can make a lot of good things. This right here is something I would like to have. The tiny wall switch. Um, oh, he's got a quest. I'm not going to do the quest for him, though, because uh, he'll become... Uh, an NPC that I can hire and put him on my ship, and I really just want him to stay here. Uh, anyway, let me go uh, grab some tungsten. I believe that would be in here. It is awesome. So I'm going to grab some tungsten. I'm going to make some switches, and I would like to explain why I'm going to make these switches. Um, let's do two of them. Okay, so I'm noticing like a lot of times my characters here these NPCs they like to go outside and which I mean yeah that's great um, of course you know going outside it's it's all part of the good fun but I don't want that to be a thing so I'm gonna make it where the switch will operate the door so only I can open it uh, when I'm ready to go outside I just do that and when I go inside uh, <laughs> I just locked myself out. <laughs> that could be a problem. Now, I wonder, can you do a double switch? Let's see. Oh, you can. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can do a double switch. You just have to... Hmm, that's really interesting. I, I guess that could work. You just have to click on the opposite one for it to to work. It, it's kind of strange, but at least um, I know for sure I won't be able to. I won't lock myself outside. I guess. <laughs> at least that's what I'm hoping for, because I that would be pretty bad if I ended up locking myself outside. But hopefully that will keep the NPCs from leaving. Um, the building because I do worry about my NPCs dying unfortunately no sir I am not doing your quest sorry I know I know maybe another time buddy okay next um, what's on the agenda is to upgrade some workbenches um, that's already maxed out okay this can be upgraded so now we have a industrial workbench awesome that'll allow us to craft a lot of really cool really cool things like red kitchen fridge oh right that's one of the um <laughs> that's from the one of the newer mods I downloaded um what else can I upgrade this no this no uh, what about this aha okay that can be upgraded to an agricultural table ooh this is nice so we got a lot of goodies in here which is very good. Mm. Oh, cool. I can upgrade my flashlight. <laughs> Not that I need to do that. Hmm. Uh, what else? I believe these are fully upgraded already. All right. Good. This should be fully upgraded. Indeed. And this? All right. That needed circesium. Okay. Which um, we will be able to do that soon. Um, is there anything else that needs to be upgraded? This? Nope. What about this? Nope. We're good. Um, I have the memory of a mouse, so I do apologize for that. Also, I changed out the little box here. This is going to be my uncroft box, so let's go ahead and pull all these things out. And let's put them in here. Okay, that's right. Didn't have enough of those yet. Okay, so... Oop, those I can sell. Alright. Um, these I crafted for the quest. I can just deconstruct them to get all the things back for it. No big deal. Um, okay, cool. Let's put those in there. Oops. And let's see what else. 
Also, I'd like to say to everyone who's watching, Merry Christmas! Yes! <laughs> I decided to record an episode today. Hopefully, that will be good. Alrighty. I know those can't be destroyed. We'll just break these down and see what we get from it. Lots of good resources. Always can use that. Mm. So, this is going to be interesting. What else did I need to do? Oh, yeah. Aha, okay. This is done... And this is done. Sweet. So I uh, deconstructed uh, while offline all the things that um, Fracking Universe is changing. I got them all changed out, which reminds me, I want to check how much, uh, oh, how much research we have. We have 364 research, which is quite good. Let's check out the tutorial. The next thing it wants me to craft is an armor work. So I'll just um, go ahead and receive that. I'm actually going to, I'm going to receive all of these quests here. I'm just going to go ahead and accept them all. And yeah, actually I'll, I'll do that off camera, it'll be easier. The other thing I wanted to do today was show off how I have 46 of these blister uh, sacks. That's going to allow me to craft finally, once and for all, this armor set here, this blister helm set. A blister, not blister helm, just blister set. So we're gonna go ahead and type in blister. Uh oh, the cap locks now. Okay, for the blister set we need. Oh right, plastic polymer. We we have plenty of that. Well, maybe not plenty, but we have enough. At least I hope it's enough. <laughs> if not, we can always make more. No big deal. So let's type in the word blister here. We already made the helm, so we'll make. Um, the blister chest and the blister greaves yeah and I would like to also make the blister shield which I need hardened shell for that hardened shell I believe that's in the jeans get that from jeans I don't think I have jeans though I mean I do have jeans but not the right ones I have the hmm I have that and I also have that. Okay. Well, what makes jeans? And I don't think I have the equipment here that makes jeans. So let's find out what that equipment is. Mm, I believe it's the Zeno. Yeah, it's the Zeno Lab. So, I think. This station is designed to pull jeans, uh huh, from seeds for studying and experimentation. So, to make the Zeno Lab, I'm going to need silicon boards to make silicon boards I need of course silicon well I should have that somewhere yep I have plenty of silicon that is good oh I have a silicon board in there but I'm gonna keep that in there um, let's see I need four silicon boards and now let's make the Zeno lab mm. Nope, not there. <laughs> Clicking all the things. Um, Zenolab, right here. Boom. Oh, and I learned how to make the advanced Zenolab and a gene sequencer. Ooh. Let's see, what does a gene sequencer do? It needs a Kizium, quantum processor, and an advanced circuit. Creates genes from scratch. Oh, wow. Okay. And we also need, what else do we need? Mm, I don't see it. Oh, here it is. The advanced dental lab. Oh, wow. That requires an AI chip, nuclear core, and dense alloy. <laughs> I think that's a little bit out of our league. Oh, dear. Okay. So we have this gene lab here. Oh, my. It's kind of big. Hmm. I really do need to work on my <laughs> on my base a little bit because <laughs> there's not much space. I have to be honest, not much space. I think I'm going to do that. Um, work a little bit on this off camera 
but I want to change it. Uh, I want to use a, a different type of material, but I haven't quite decided yet um, as far as like what kind of building material I want to use. I want to use something a little bit more high tech looking, because this look, you know, and this did look quite lovely for the beginning stages of our building, but now we have more advanced things we could be building with. Like, look at this lunar base block we can use. Moonstone. I would like to try out this moonstone tile, which requires moonstone. I wonder if we have moonstone. I would assume we do. I mean, I've gone on planets plenty of times. Do we have any moonstone? We have moon dust. Aha, we do have moonstone. Sweet. So let's take a look what this moonstone looks like. I'm really curious. Mm, I believe it is a mod by the way, um, that allows you to use moonstone to create uh, stuff. So that's pretty cool. Let's create one, which gives 20. Let's see. Um, oh, wow. It actually does look quite nice. Let me put that there for now. Yeah, that does look quite nice. It's square. <laughs> it, like, makes squares is what I mean. Uh, okay. Easy to dig through as well. That's interesting. What does it look like as a background, though? That's what I'm curious. Hmm. It's 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 quite it's quite nice. It's interesting. Oh dear, <laughs> I'm breaking everything. Oh no. Oh dear. Not not like that. No no no. See, this is why I build off camera because oh my god, the mistakes I make is bad. Okay. So that looks really good. Um. Next thing to do is get on this armor. Yas! Finally! <laughs> oh, it took us 40 episodes to get us some really decent armor, finally. I'm going to go ahead and put these armor pieces in here. Very, very good. Looking, looking nice. This is all of our old weapons that we used to use and things like that as well. Um... All right, so what I'm going to do is put a few things away, find us a proto-planet, and get exploring. So I will bring you back once I've done that. See you soon. All right, girls, listen up. We are heading off to a proto-planet as we speak. We need to brace ourselves. We need to get ready because what we are about to face, I have no idea. So, Ziv, I would like you to come along with me. B, as always, you must come along. And, of course, Molly, once again, join us. Because we have no idea what we're going to be facing. And I need your girls so bad. Yas, I need you with me for protection. All right. So, uh, apparently, the proto-world is in this section of the map. So, we are going to head there right now. Hopefully, it won't be too dangerous. Um, it shows that I'm glowing. <laughs> I have regeneration on, and I have poison immunity, proto-poison immunity, 20% poison resistance, and of course, glow. Awesome. Let's eat up some raisins, ladies. We need to be as healthy as we possibly can be, because we have no idea what we are going to be facing in this proto-world. Hmm. There appears to be iron... Tungsten gold protosite, which we need. Neptunium, titanium, and thorium. There is bio rain, slime storm, lightning storm, weak slime storm, light gravity rain. Interesting. And acid rain. Ugh. I don't know what I think about the acid rain, to be honest, but okay. Let's go. This is what we've been waiting for. Yes. All right. Well, of course, the first thing we need to do is put one of these. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Why are we glowing? This this can't be good. We're, we're glowing. Uh, um, can I... Can I can I put the torches here, please? Uh, Welp. I think we're, we're surviving a lot better than we did the first time that we came to a planet like this. And is that protosite? It is protosite. Ooh. Okay, and there's some Neptunium. All right. 
I'm just going to go underground a little bit because there's it's storming on the surface and I don't think it's very good for me to be in that. Ooh, glue fiber. Well, that's cool. All right, let's get these guys out. Oh, yeah. This is what I call farming or mining. <laughs> yes. Oh, I see a bad guy. I see a bad guy. Can I reach him? Nope. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be with her. Be with her big, big gun. She just, she just destroys it. No problem. Alright. Oop. There's a little red guy here. Hello. Oh, isn't he cute? He's adorable. Ooh. Oh, I remember those. Those are the, are the ones that heal. Oh, my God. And I still... So many things I want to craft and I always forget to do it. Um, toxic. You're inside toxic stuff. Ew, what is this? What on earth? Pus? Ew, that's gross. I wonder if it can extract into anything. Hmm. Okay. That's nasty, though. Ew. Yeah. It's, uh, whoa! Oh dear lord! Oh, it's these guys! They spit pus at you! That is just disgusting! What is this stuff? Uh, bios! Okay! Uh, girls don't, don't want to stand in this. I don't think that's a good idea. Just saying! As I just jump into it. <laughs> of course. Oh, here comes the lag. Now, I, I wanted to come here just to get some protocyte. Um, I don't want to stay too long as I'm still not fully geared for this place. Um, but I did want to get a, a quite a bit of this protocyte. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that'll be not too difficult. Um, kind of nervous about the surface, to be honest. Um, I don't know what to expect on planets like this. Oh boy. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Wow. I think my girls officially broke their legs. <laughs> uh, I believe that's part of sight there. So I want to make sure. Oh my god. This is some serious dirt here. Yep. That's part of sight as well. Awesome. <gasps> Jeez. B. You scared me girl. <laughs> okay. Um, this is like really loose, loose stuff here. Uh, let's uh, fall down here. Oh, oh no, oh no. <sighs> oh my god, I, th I thought I was gonna die. Oh jeez. I really need to be careful and not just jump off cliffs like that. My lord. Okay. All this just to enhance these things my goodness another material I need is to get Zerkesium so I'll be heading off to a mountainous planet uh, after this planet because I think that would be quite helpful too to get one of those going I see a little bit of prototype here so I'm just kind of grabbing it up I'm glad that it's easy to see because it's all glowy and stuff so that really makes it easier to spot uh, uh, this is making me very nervous. I have to be honest. Ooh, bio samples, glow fiber. I wonder. Oh God! Oh my God! No! 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 Ah! Uh, I! He! I! I can't move. Ooh. Ooh. This place is not. Very friendly. I I just I, I'm I'm down here just mining mining my own business. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it done squirts stuff at me. Like I didn't ask for him to squirt stuff at me. My goodness, how rude. Ooh, is that titanium right there? Ooh, it is. Awesome. Titanium is also quite useful as well. Alright, how much of this prototype have we collected so far? 
84. I think that's more than enough. I'm going to gather just a little bit more. Then I'm going to move to a mountainous planet and see what we can find there. So guys, I will bring you back as soon as I found a mountainous planet. See you soon. Well, it turns out we kind of ran out of fuel, so <laughs> Ugh, I got to go and collect some fuel. So here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> With this, with these tools though, with these mining tools, it is so amazingly fast. Like, look at this. Fuel is never going to be an issue ever again. Wow. I just wanted to show this off because this is just, oh, this is me. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, no, no, that, that's not the direction I want to go. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's not what I had in mind at all. <laughs> Ooh! Well, hello, fuel! We are swimming in fuel now! Oh yeah! I'll just gather as much of this as I can before that big, Urkius monster decides to try and attack us. Which reminds me, I, I need to make the Urkius, um, immunity, um... The Urkius Immunity... Oh, I can't remember the, the name of it. But uh, it makes it so that the Urkius monster doesn't um, come after us any longer. And it would be nice, because it'll make um, hunting fuel a little less stressful. <laughs> and I never really get too much fuel. I just get me enough to get me from one place to another. Although with this is an exception. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, he's coming for my he's coming for me. I am out. <laughs> I am not gonna stay there and let that thing suck myself. Nope. <laughs> Alright, so we we completely ran out of fuel, so I was like, uh, yep, that is a thing. So we'll go ahead and fuel that up right quick. Now I was looking through here, trying to find looking around and trying to find a mountainous planet. There's one here. And I think there was one here as well. Was it this one or was it this one? Mm, I think... Was it this one? Yes, here it is. So we'll go here. It was 96 fuel. It didn't have enough fuel. And I was like, no, I gotta hunt for fuel. Um, but before, there, there are some things that I want to do. Um, the mountainous planet. Um, I'm probably not going to explore that this episode. I would like to check out what we can do with the augment mod. I do have uh, 10,000 monies now, so that's pretty good. Uh, but I want to make sure that I'm hovering over the correct planet first before um, we proceed. So let's see here. What did the mountainous planet look like? I believe it's this one here because it's gray. So let's fly over here. And this looks like a very unique, uh, pretty pretty cool looking biome. We have a different color places here, so that's nice. We have, oh, a fungus planet there, and that's a rocky moon. Oh, these are moons. Oh, okay, well, we're not looking for moons. We're looking for, maybe the mountainous planet is there. It's kind of hard to tell. I wish there was a way you could zoom in without having to fly over to it like I wish there was I could see what planet I'm going to or not just the planet that I'm going to but the planets are circling uh, that area would make it easier there we go there's the mountainous planet that has the Zerkesium so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna beam down really quick grab some Zerkesium using these lovely tools here and I will meet you back at our house I'll see you soon alright we are back. So, I went down and I got a little bit of Zerkesium, not too much. Uh, I have to admit, it was not very easy to find. There wasn't anything too exciting down there as I was mining. Uh, found a couple of monsters here and there, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing major. Ooh, Plutonium Rod. Hello. Protosite Bars, let's do it. 44 of those, very nice. I got a bit of Titanium as well. Which is pretty good. Got Telembrium. Wow. Ooh. Oh, wow. We learned a lot of different things on that one. 
That's awesome. Yes. 20 Zerkesium. Yes. Okay. So we need to, up to upgrade this. We need the quantum processor and a power core, which right now that is really expensive and not sure how to make those things just yet. I will look further into that on another episode. Also, everyone, I want to thank you so much for all of the comments. Um, there was a comment about the or the growth mod here. Uh, so I'm going to look in the book here. I, I did manage to level to 7 because I was fighting some monsters, which is pretty good. Um, I was told to put uh, points into intelligence, so I am going to be doing that. Uh, also, there's um, I can reset... But I'm not going to do that yet. I'll wait until I finish um, the quest for this. Uh, also, there's supposed to be... Yes. This skill right here. Has it been unlocked already? Unlock to go to the tech station and equip it. <gasps> yeah. Okay. So apparently I have unlocked that. Well, let's go to the market and see what that does because if that can help with that one dungeon we were in in the last episode because I couldn't figure out how to open those gates now someone uh, someone did mention in the comments that I need to open all of the cell doors and then it opens up those doors I have to go back sometime and check that although I'm not going to do that today there's really not enough time um, also, I want to check out, I want to get into some augments and things like that as well to enhance uh, my character. I think that would be really, really good as well. So let's go to the tech here. Um, so instead of dash, I can do translocate. Okay. How does this work? Well, it's not that one. Hmm. Does it tell me how to use it? That's a good question. Well, I have something to learn. Let's take a look here in the book again. I have so many things in my bag, it's hard to hard to see it all. Okay, um, let's see if it tells me how to use this. Okay, press W to teleport to your cursor. There is a slight cooldown before you can teleport again. Okay, so W to my cursor. Question, does this work through doors? <gasps> oh, that is awesome! Wow, okay, um, let's see. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well that opens up a whole new world. I do have to admit that it is a little overpowered, but for situations like what we went through where I couldn't figure out how to open the door and it was quite complicated, um, that could definitely come in handy. And I think I'm at the level now where a little bit of something like that is not going to be too bad. I think that, I think that makes up for, for everything because I played this game. Or at least this playthrough, I played it pretty legitly. Haven't um, done any cheating, no admin, no commands like that. So uh, all the money I made, everything that I've built here is purely based on what I've gathered myself. So I have to say I've been playing this game pretty proudly. And I'm happy that I could do that. And now I have the ability to, you know, do this. Ha ha ha! You can't come and get me! <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. So he's stuck in there, and um, I'm out here having fun. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. <laughs> this is literally like one of the best mods ever. I have fallen in love with the, the RPG growth mod. If you like the RPG elements of video games, I would highly recommend this mod for sure. And I haven't had any issues with it or any problems, no glitches, so 
Yes. Now, for one last thing that I want to do before we end this video, guys, I want to make. Let's see if I can find it. Um, and also I need to know what we're going to need for it. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Looking, looking, looking. Um, okay, the augment combiner. Okay, for this we need Durasteel, silicon board, copper wire, and batteries. Okay, hopefully I can remember. So, um, okay, silicon boards, we're going to need more silicon boards. Um, battery, okay, copper wire. Um, oh my god, I forgot the rest. Oh no! So, let's type in AUG. Ah, the augment station, yes. So I need silicon boards and Durasteel. Silicon boards, Durasteel. That shouldn't be too hard. Silicon boards, Durasteel. Durasteel's in here. Mm, I do have plenty of Durasteel. Yes. Okay, to make silicon boards, we need silicon, which I should have in here somewhere. Mm, yep, here we go. Got the silicon. Um, here we go. How many of these can I make? I can make 20. So let's make 10 of those. Oh, wow. I can make quantum processors. <gasps> Crafting. Because <laughs> we're going to, we need that anyway. Ooh, the AI chips now. Power core is unlocked. <gasps> oh my God, guys. There's so many things I can craft right now. This is amazing. Okay, so I need a quantum I needed static cells. Okay, static cells. I should have that, right? Somewhere in here. Mm, I think I will let this episode go on a little bit longer, guys, because I am very excited. We are making some serious progress here. Power core. Oh, yes! For the AI chip, we need more fight. And to make more fight, I believe... That is in here. Oh, yeah. I can upgrade the other one. Let's do it. Oh, my God. Guys, I am so, like, <laughs> I am out of order right now. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Okay. I, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Um, It's not in this one, is it? No. It's in... Is it this? No, that's the Xenolab. Oh, my goodness. I know it's one of these. Oh, right. I, I'm a derp. I'm a derp. It's right here. Okay, for this we need carbon, aha, liquid, protocyte, sulfuric acid. So we need some really serious stuff to make that. So that will be something we do in the future to make these AI chips. But I got the power core and the quantum processors. So I say, yes, that's progress. <laughs> Definitely progress. Okay, so we're going to make the augment station. I haven't made the augment station have I no I don't think so <laughs> just double checking all right we're gonna go ahead and make that and then we're going to make the let's see aug we need the augment combiner yes all right and one other thing I would like to make um where are you let's see can I make it yet or is it no, I ran out of materials for it. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, um, space. Space is an issue. We'll put that there and we'll put this here for now. I will, I'm going to expand, guys. I will change the way this looks. I'm not sure when or what episode I'm going to do that in. Um, but hopefully we can do that soon because, my lord, this is getting pretty crazy. Now, as you can see here, I can craft... All the way up to tier 5 of an augment. So if I get, for example, this damage one here. Um, if I want increased damage, all I have to do is craft that. Uh, craft one of these. Which requires Durasteel, a tech card, and copper wire. And then I can make pretty much any augment I want. Base game augment. But not only is, is it base game augment, but it is increased. So if I want, like... I can do the light augments, health augments, oh yes, just just all kinds of just awesome stuff that I can make with that. Um, 
There is also, let me see, augments, I believe, no, they're not here, they're up here. Or are they in here? I, I don't remember where they are at. No, they're not here. Are they in here? They're in here. Okay. Then we also have these augments as well, which we need to get into. So, let's see. Item magnet would be cool because we can grab things closer. The kinetic, uh, the kinetic field um, reduces damage taken, which is quite nice as well. Radiation, protocyte shield, repulsor, regeneration, like there's a lot of augments here and then we can on top of that we can combine them together which would be amazing. But to start I want to find, I don't remember where I, where it's at, um, the, it's an augment, here it is, the Urkius radiation shield. I would like to, to get this. Unfortunately, I need Urkius, uh, crystal Urkius fuel, which I could get that at some point. But in the future, I will definitely be crafting that as well. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this episode has been somewhat entertaining. <laughs> and we definitely got a lot of stuff advanced, a lot of stuff, um, together all of our benches pretty much uh, except for this one here oh. uh, <laughs> yes that's upgraded oh my god yes okay it is official we are in the next stage and also one other thing Ugh, I could just keep going and going and going with all the things that I want to do was it this one or the other one that had the advanced armor? I think it was this one, actually. <gasps> yes! Yes. I can make the tier 2 armor. Or not the tier 2, I mean the, the upgrade. It is, uh, it doesn't show what tier it is here, but it's, it's number 2. Alright, which does 100% damage. <gasps> Okay, I'll craft the head part, the chest piece, and the legs. Oh, wow. That is incredible. We are going to be so well armored. And just, just to see what this looks like. Oh, it's horrible. I mean, it looks... It looks really cool. Really, really cool. Like, it's just, it's so alien, you know? It really is alien. But, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm going to use this armor for now. And I want to thank you all for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.